Are you ready to rumble? It is more unlocks. Still looking for that silly little ghost. Maybe we'll find him eventually, but right now Lazarus has a lot of blank spots on his whole postage kajigger. So let's have a look, see here. Ooh. Starting off with a good little puberty pill. Kind of like a delayed health upgrade if we can find some more of those. I kind of want to use that black heart for, uh, oh my goodness. Excuse me? We got a hanged man somewhere around here? I'm a little bit concerned. We might not be able to find a way through there. And then we'd be very, very sad boys. Would not be a pleasant time. Missing out on something so splendid as proptosis? Not my jam. That room is a real cruel mistress, I'll tell you that much. Now, if we were playing as Azazel, we'd have a quite easy time. Maybe our iron room will give us clicker and turn us into Azazel. Probably would be worth it just to just to say free you to that proptosis that is so far ungrabbable. I didn't even notice the tiny one. Good, he's gone now. Yeah, it's uh, not looking good, boys. Ooh. Good job detonating that. Good job getting owned. It's, uh, it's a little bit too much HP to be practical. Well, if anything, I can at least kill myself on the cursor and get a tiny bit of damage for the future. That's a tinted rock as well. Could you please just self-immolate against the flames? There we go. Rack him up. <laughs> oh, hey. Lucky rock. Well, good thing I didn't explode that tinted rock just yet. Because we can uh, make some coin from it. And that'll be fine and dandy. I'm ready to fight this boss, finally. What a large floor. Larry, huh? Alright, buddy. Well, I can't use my only bomb against you. No, I have greater plans for that. So we'll just kind of meander around here. And slowly chip away at him. Uh-oh. Trying to box me with those poops, huh? It's a very effective strategy. But uh, one that I've seen right through and thwarted. Almost there. Here he comes. Just any, any minute now. Alright, he's done it. Look, and now there's a PJs, so at this point, suicide is basically a guarantee. And of course, pop that. Not bad at all. Secret room, well, we can't really access it because no, uh, no bombs. So there's that. We could go to the shop. If there's a card for sale and it's the correct card, then we'll be a happy camper. But I'm not really expecting that we'd find a hanged man so instantaneously. Oh, that's right, item room. That's a thing that exists as well. Unknown pill. Can't give me flight. Range down, huh? What the hell is that? Kidney bean love toots? Not what I'm looking for, buddy. Just get right in there. Swoosh them out! Okay, did not even take damage on the way out. Now we're talking my language. Could have at least had how to jump in the item room or something like that. You know, could have had the common courtesy. We have to do it. We have to buy the card. So it, it was not the card. These are not the cards we're looking for. Sad day. Goodbye, Proptosis. You would have been nice. But we will simply part ways and uh, never speak of this moment again. Instead, I'm going to proudly tote this beautiful kidney bean. Truly, that is the the most magnificent of pulls 
from this floor. The one would not be the same without it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty angry. Let's instantly kill his boss. Literally only... Did it even do damage? It did not deal damage. Well, I should have saved it against some of those balls that he throws out. And no, this is the champion that does not throw balls, so scratch that. That was the absolute best use you could have gotten from the beam. Hey, we get a range back. Thanks. Really thinking of everything, huh? And we get a Krampus, so no chance for Devil Precedence just yet. That's kind of okay. Please get rid of this flame, it's creating a very offensive presence. Thanks for not rotating. We're slowly chipping along here. Give me some lumps of coal. Thanks in advance. See, if we get a lump of coal, then, uh... Proptosis would have overwritten our range, and therefore made Lump of Coal not as good as it could have been. So, you know, it'll be it'll be good. It'll be good that we don't have Proptosis, because we can maximize our Lumps, and we'll, we'll enjoy that thoroughly. See? Perfect Lump of Coal. Just as anticipated. Easiest claim of my life. So yeah, who's laughing now? I've got a Coal. You can't stop me. I've got a Coal. 420 damage. It's the place you want to be. Gaper. I will allow you to die. And I will allow you as well. And we're still looking for the item room. Which is somewhere. And I'm gonna open this chest because I'm a naughty boy. I got sack of sacks. Watch the first card it drops is gonna be a hanged man. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Okay. I forgot Dead Bird is a real item and not something that just is inbuilt into Eve's persona. <laughs> yep. We're getting quite the little assortment here. First a kidney bean, and now a, a dead bird. At least the dead bird is a passive item. And the kidney bean spawned when I had no spacebar items, so I guess it all works out. Gonna drop me a sack? He has. Saka de sacas. Ooh, a Gira. Impressive. Perhaps we can do something with that. Duplicate some of this money. I don't want to duplicate the chest. Unless it's a chest that has keys inside. Might as well then. It was a chest that has a key inside. And two nickels. Basically, I'm a god. We're going back to the shop. Should be something nice we can buy from that. We won't be able to get two keys to get into our extra room over there, but that should be fine. Nothing of particular value, but we can donate. Get back over 400. Save a little bit for the road. We got Angel Precedent, only for this floor, and we've already lost our Devil Deal that spawned, so nothing really of note there. I'll save the rest of the money for the future. Maybe get some more luck and or angels. At the very least, we can get Mega Satan done here. And, uh, would be nice to find some fortune tellers or some missing poster trinkets. You know? Ooh! Goopy's paw! Now you're talking my language. Adios, kidney bean. You have been demonstrated once or twice, and now you're gone. We'd like to have a tears upgrade, thanks in advance. Still, above average DPS. It's it's Lazarus 2. We're not Lazarus 1. We're not the original man. Incredible how you can. Respawn through me. Could you guys not? Just, I'm just running around in circles with no actual aim or purpose. There's no skill involved, it's just strafe. Infinite, that's, the, that's the game in a nutshell. Just strafe. And kind of dodge things on the as they appear scale. Good explosion. Okay, all three of them. 
Interesting call. If we had safety scissors, we'd be a rich individual right now. We do have the rock instead, which is quite a nice trinket on its own right. More sacks. Keep forgetting about those. Yes! Year on me up, boys. So we have another year to use instantly on the first penny that I see. Just kidding. <laughs> we'll save it for something better, probably, maybe. This is not a fun room. Oh, there's an invisible beamer. I mean, I should have seen that one coming. Explode, please. Thank you for the drops. Mushroomy goodness. Black rune, you say? To void, you say? Okay. He has accomplished it. The feat has been performed. Unknown pill. Paralysis. This could very well be our secret room. Indeed, it was. I can see forever. Interesting timing there. I'm fine with that, though. You got a magical mushroom for me, lads? This room was not worth my time. Alright, here we go, here we go. Get out of here, Porf. There we go, one charger. Give me the battery. Just kidding, I don't need the actual battery item. I'm, I've got Guppy's Paw. Give me a dim bulb or something. While we're on the topic of trinkets and or items. I should probably, if there's nothing better to do, Black Rune the Kidney Bean in the Cursor. But that's going to cost me another heart of HP, so maybe not. Just rain fire on these mushrooms until they succumb to the inevitable temptation to spew bullets in either 45 degree or cardinal directions. And they will rue the day in which they do that act. I guess more donatoring. That's not a blank card, that's a placebo. It's not what we're looking for. Angel chance, angel chance, angel chance, angel chance. I've already exploded a shopkeeper. We got the angel chance. Now it's just a question of earning the deal. I mean, there's still a non-negligible chance that we find a deal with the devil. <laughs> despite everything. So, that would be interesting. Could you lob some Ibikak this way? No, no, this way. Hit the bats, is what I'm trying to say. You got that nodule? Or don't. There we go. Thank you very much. Your services are no longer required, though. Lots of gushers. One twice the size of the other. We got Fruit Gushers XL up in here. We are way behind for Boss Rush, so that's not going to happen. But we could maybe do Hush, which is still on the agenda. No grabbing. No reaching. This is going to take a little while. So just get these balls around. What you throwing down there, hmm? The troll bomb looked like it had a strange face, but... I guess that's that, then. Yep, they do have a more unique image when he's got them in his grubby little mix. One third of the way down, maybe 40% now. It'll happen. Thank you for not throwing more homing bombs. This man does not last very long when he's out of the ground. Okay, there's freaking uh, hot bombs. And I narrowly avoided the hot bomb damage against all odds. Probably should have sucked him into a bomb there, but... I've got seven bombs, I can use them wisely. I don't care too much about my time. We're an entire floor behind schedule, so at this point it's basically a lost cause unless something really epic happens there, which it did not. This is some more guppy fodder. Works for me. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna suck up the kidney bean. It's going to be a joyous occasion. The kidney bean will be gone out of our sights. Out of mind. We got tears and luck. I'm, a, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Only thing better would have been tears and damage. 
That's very good. Curse of the Maze is not helping my cause here. So yeah, if we need to, we can go ahead and paw ourselves. Sounds a little bit, uh, lewd, but... No double meaning intended there. We'll just straight up convert a red heart into some soul hearts, if that is how it needs to be done. Now, I don't know how exactly Guppy's Paw is used to achieve that desired effect, but I don't think anyone really wants or needs to know. We got like four bombs and lots of money for two keys. Pretty satisfactory. Ooh, a library, huh? Not even how to jump here, so I guess that works out. Book of Belial gives us additional devil chance, which... I just forced myself a pestilence encounter for this floor. Is that a good idea? It's not a bad idea. We get a single meat and or bandage. That'll be fine. Secret room. He has found it. Full card. Full cardy. Full hardy. Have I exploded a keeper today? No. Now he's gone. 78% deal chance thanks to the Book of Belial. Or Book of Revelations, I suppose. All would work. The Book of Belial is more immediately useful. Ideally, we would find our shop again and try to fish some angels out of there. Come on, dudes. You can't keep dodging these. You're too fat. You're not like those imps that actually are extremely annoying with their dodges. Will these rooms ever end? Also, Curse of Darkness, I can't see anything. The water is indistinguishable from the slightly shallower water. That was not good damage. Come here, buddy. You have to remember that I have the Book of Belial. It's not just for decoration. It's not solely for devil chances, no. It is also for use in... Thanks for the golden key. Use in perilous large rooms such as that. This room, I wouldn't count it as large. Sure, it's larger than normal, but it's not actually large in the game's eyes. A truly large room has three or more segments and gives your spacebar item two charges for the price of one. That's the main difference. Alright, two pills of puberty. Next one gives us the HP upgrade. Very nice. Be gone from here. I'm gonna pop you. It has been done. Nice job spawning a leech where it literally can't do anything. Are you mad? Or are you out of your mind? That's. He got posthumous revenge, so. He's the. getting the last laugh there. Still a floor behind schedule because, well, nothing has changed in terms of DPS except for almost 20% better fire rate. And a Book of Belial, which is actually. A pretty decent contribution here. Up to 7.7 .7 damage with that bad boy. Come on. Wow, we missed our 80% roll. It's impressive in its own right. Well, next floor is guaranteed, so let's see what exactly will lie in store for us there. Super secret. None of the above. How about... over here? Nope, it's on the other end of the map at this rate. So we will go ahead and we will search for it. Ooh, I should do my black rune on the things that I no longer wish to possess. Does that include Guppy's paw? I suppose the answer is yes. Also, one of these days I'm gonna have to build a meat man, but that can be accomplished with a single potato peeler, so... not fully necessary, you know? I have no batteries, I cannot recharge this, although it will give us the same devil chance as the Book of Belial. I'm gonna suck it. More tears, both damage upgrades. Okay, that's actually so good. I think I sucked up my Yera rune as well, but not like I was using that at all. It would be nice to make the hush fight. It would be very good indeed, and then we could get a delirium kill. The delirium unlock is very palatable as our friend Lazarus here. That is a fast little charger, isn't it? Remember, you have a meat cube too, so you can use that if you must. 
Thank you, dead bird. You actually got a kill on someone. Pretty impressive, no? Alright, this gives us piercing and spectral. I'm taking it. Now, eventually we'll get more shot speed upgrades, and that's when things will get really juicy. Um, you know, by other black runes and stuff. Right now our shots are going to be a little slow. That's a-okay. It's a little tedious, but we can make do. Super secret room has got to be up here. I can simply guarantee it. Tears down. You have no power over me. I've had multiple tears upgrades. Except it does have power over me because it actually did a nominal decrease in tier rate. So that is a bit of a sham right there. Keep donating, we got a permanent luck upgrade from that. We got Angel Chance before or after it's made itself at all useful, and we've permanently jammed our donation means machine, so we can no longer extract any angel deals from it. These are all good results, just kidding. Time to blast the heck out of here. Bring a Yura, sure, why not? Way too slow to make anything good out of here. Except a potential hush run. Don't want to abandon that notion. Oh, hello. Person with the blue fires, don't mind if I do. Extract some soul hearts. Red chests have been unequivocally solid bombs. You know, that's fine, right? Hey. Why? We're up to uh, 9.7 damage now. Why? When did that happen? <laughs> well, that was thanks to the Black Rune. You owe it to your current above base damage. Thank you, Black Rune. Thank you very much. Two of Spades. Don't mind if I do. Could have doubled the two of Spades with the Yera. Now that's thinking with portals, but, you know, don't care that much. Are we gonna find a coin teller machine anytime soon? Or even a little chest familiar? That thing drops so many trinkets, you would not believe. Mom's hands still falling from the sky. Easily vanquished. So we are on depths one. We are a floor behind schedule when it comes to making the hush fight, which is not good, as you might expect. That man's fast. That man's very fast. Trying to fight a high speed enemy with low shot speed. Not the most pleasant time. Okay. Don't ask how I killed that thing in time, but it happened. Alright, so I could, you know, redo that room again, as if I would actually ever want to. Maybe it would have been nice on basement one to try to extract, you know, a thing, a certain something, from a certain, uh, cage-locked room. Oh well. This man's homing power is so strong because of my tiny shot speed. Yeah. Ah, greed. How do you do? I don't need a donation machine anyways, my good man. Lots of money. It's all mine now. From his greed to mine. Nice job. Keep shooting into the walls. That'll really help your cause. I keep forgetting we have still have Lucky Rock because no other trinket has stepped up to the plate. Two of spades once again. It just keeps happening. Probably the super secret room down there. Do I look like I gave a hoot? No. Free lucky penny, don't mind if I do. 100% deal chance at last has come to our rescue. Blow up the slot machine for god's sake, you've been slouching on your duties. What is a slouch? I don't know, I guess you can infer it from context clues. It's exactly the same as slacking, or slouching, mixed between the two. 
Super secret? Nope. That's certainly not gonna be it. Come here, buddy. Still a floor behind schedule. Yeah, super secret room is in a very enigmatic place that I really don't want to try to find. But I will because I must. It could be over here. That would still be possible. It was not. So it's gonna be down there. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna abandon this super secret room. <laughs> it's gone now. Loki, my man. Wanna spawn some bomb flies? You wanna spawn a shot speed upgrade for me? You got some uh Cato Nine Tails action? I will gladly partake. He spawned a bomb fly as requested. Sadly I did not kill it on time. Thank you for the free money. Oh, hey, meat is almost as good. And we got a devil deal. We got a razor and a demon baby. Guess we'll keep uh you know the angel ideal in our sights. Adios. Very disgusting little uh, menagerie you have there. And if you're trying to tempt me into going uh, away from the angel path, you're doing it dead wrong. Also, I didn't even use my Book of Belial against the boss fight. It's kind of just invisible. We actually have relatively good killing power at this point. Oh, hello, torsos. How do you do? You guys just spawn some spiders? No, you're gonna get uh, annihilated. One did manage to spawn a spider before retiring. That's fine. This is worthy of booking. Booking it the heck out of here. Yep. There's only a couple of these dudes remaining, but hey, you don't get to do that. One red heart. Don't mind if I do. There's still another man alive. I'm a little confused. Always oh, invisible. What's with the abundance of invisible champions nowadays? Just bad luck? Ah, the world. Good timing. This is where we gotta go if we wanna get to the boss. I'd like to go to the shop first. Could be a super greed in there. To give us an unnecessary amount of extra money. Large sit. Wholly unnecessary. Will barely contribute anything towards our cause. Maybe I'll find no another PhD in the shop. Like the one I had abandoned prior. I don't know why I did not take that PhD because, you know, we got lots of tiers downgrades, and we could be making them, uh, we could be turning that frown upside down. But that is not the case. That's not the situation I find myself in. Thanks for that. Getting touched by a death's head skull. Not exactly the most, you know, sound of choices. Touching the creep of uh, pre-existing and gurgling. Also not a very sound choice. One of the world's worst arcades ever devised by mankind. Not a very good result. Not that I need the money or anything from a blood bank. What I do need is slot machines to destroy or coin beggars to play. There's my super creed. Get that out of the way. Look at that large zip is actually doing some important slowing down. That's pretty cool. Some luck. Unknown pill, let's go. Friends till the end, not bad. Leves. Uh, golden chest. Come here. The fool. Not quite what I'm looking for, especially since I have this Euro. There's a Mama Mega. We can guarantee a uh, hush encounter if that's what we want, or we could guarantee a boss rush encounter and forego a hush encounter. Now, let me just consult the ever-handy cheat sheet here. And the hush kill is empty vessel, whereas the boss rush kill is missing no. While the latter might sound cool, it's... it's not. So, I'm gonna go kill Mom with this Book of Belial to hopefully increase my Devil Deal chances. I'm gonna teleport out with the fool, and then we will reclaim our Mama Mega and use that on future floors. How does that sound? That is the game plan. 
We will be abandoning the Book of Belial, but hopefully not after extracting one extra deal out of it. It's been very unkind to us in the past. Just one man here. Okay. Works for me. Wouldn't like to have another I can see forever, but that was apparently not needed. Don't need to fight the angel statue that does not drop a key. Absolutely unnecessary. Sometimes these things are unnecessary. Ooh, if you've got a coin beggar. Well, can't think of anything that rhymes with beggar, so... I guess you could, you know, use apostrophe ER as like a shorthand for her. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna keep playing with this dude. Increase our angel chances. If he does have a nice result for us. Come on, little buddy. Treasure map, huh? I guess that could be nice. It gave us a tiny amount of angel chance. Every time I get hurt, I spawn a zit tier. That's interesting. I was not aware of that. Good, good spikes. We did extract, actually, uh, half a heart's worth of blood from it, so that's pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna kill Mom, we're gonna fool out. It's gonna be glorious. We're up to 10 damage now, thanks to... What exactly? I'm not sure. It's Blue Mom, because of course it's Blue Mom. Can't let you have it easy here now, can ya? You're gonna spawn some more feet? Yeah, but that was not exactly an opportune moment to spawn a foot. I'm sure she was well aware of this. There we go. It's a little bit better. Would you like to explode these rocks for me? Perhaps not. Did not even use my meat cube at all. It's a meatless mom kill. Now that's what I call skill, huh? Alright, you got a sacred heart for me? No, but you have a holy grail. That's not bad. We want our key pieces, right? Let's go. Thank you for being Uriel, and not uh, a different angel of a certain name. Yes, please beam downwards. I literally, like, can't dodge that intentionally. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Take some more friends till the end. Take our The Fool. Take our... well, it doesn't really matter which one we take, but I guess I'll take a Polaroid, because I intend to go to the Void instead. Yeah, instead. Not even trying to get to the Void from somewhere else. Although... Uh, we still have to get to our chest and... And, uh, what's it called? A cathedral. Freaking blue baby chest. Chest and uh, cathedral. We got them both somewhere along the lines. Anyways. So this will earn Lazarus's rags and the store coupon. That's a pretty nice trinket. Well, might as well go for Delirium first, you know? Oh, wait. We're also doing Mega Satan. So much conflict of interest here. There's so many paths to go for. Aren't you going to go back and get your Mama Mega now? Absolutely will do. Alright, so here's the deal. If we get a second key piece on the way, I will go for Mega Satan. And hopefully, after Mega Satan, we'll get a portal to the Void. 50% chance, that is. Maybe he can do it. Anyways, yeah, that's the game plan. If we don't get a second key piece, then it's pretty self-explanatory. We'll just gun it from the Void. Sweet. Picking up pennies, even though they don't matter whatsoever. That's a powerful move. Is there anything else good in the shop? I guess not. I'm not going back. So, <laughs> that's the way it's going to be. I lost my half hour interval because I'm a moron. Would have been nice to have our Polaroid be permanently triggerable. Wow. I... at home, kitty winkies. Perhaps use the the sticky notes application that is built into 
Windows 10 Home Edition. And, um, actually I have Student Edition, but that's kind of irrelevant. And uh, with that, you can try not to make such mistakes as this. Such as forgetting your book of, uh, such as forgetting your Mama Mega on the shop that you immediately had asked if there was anything worth going back for. So this is going to be a Mega Satan run, in case that was not obvious. You will provide more angel statues for me to fight, ones that will drop key pieces. Do you understand? There's no debate, there's no discourse to be had. You will give me more angel statues, because it is the only way I can make something of this run. Good thing I took that Polaroid and did not wholly ignore it. Because, uh... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hello, dudes. You're just gonna slide against the ground there? That works for me. Please achieve, uh, slowness, thanks to my zit. But if you don't want to, I guess that's acceptable as well. Oh, hey, the fish tail, huh? Not like there's any guppy going on here or anything. There was one guppy shard, but that's it. Who this? Empress, huh? Might as well. We got both of these buffs here. Thank you for, you know, allowing me to not take damage there. Meet you. Very valuable. Still have not touched a single lump in this entire boss fight. One is down now. Both are down. That happened suddenly. Come on. Dead Onion is finally showing its true use here. Being able to destroy Skolix at a moment's notice. Okay, you will give me the angel deal on the next room. You understand? Next floor. It will happen. Please just don't forget your Gira. At least you could do. Still not a single valuable trinket of the sort I'm looking for, huh? So be it. This is really annoying, because I could have used Mama Mega to extract an, an item from Boss Rush if I was just going to ignore it. But instead we got nothing. We just paid 15 cents, left it on the table, and here, keep the change, buddy. It's, uh, nothing. Zip zero zilch. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna try to get my half heart back before I keep going with you, alright? Gotta play this dude as well, might as well use him to get some HP. That's not HP. Have you lost your mind? Gotta play him a hundred times consecutively, and by consecutively, I mean cumulative between every game you've ever played. It's like a donation machine. Oh, thank you. That's perfect. Oh, and we already got our little horn science. I'm gonna keep playing you until you give me a Skatol or something. I could actually play him indefinitely because if he offers you a Skatol, you can just refresh the room and wholly ignore it. He'll lose his prize when you leave the room. So you can literally go at this forever until you earn that it is what you're looking for. In my case, the uh, counterfeit penny. There is a Skatol, if he gives it to us, he did not, so. We can earn this legitimately. We got 77 plays. I... Unless he gives us a Skatol, I can almost guarantee that we'll be getting our counterfeit coin in this very room. If he explodes himself, well, I'm gonna thrust in his general direction and blast the bomb away from him. I don't see much way this could fail at all. Good. He spawned real bombs and not any imposters. Good for him. This is going to take a little while, as you might envision. I'm just going to keep shooting to instantly get rid of any flies that spawn. Thank you for some refunds. If he gives us enough bombs, we could even play the bomb beggar. There's another Skatol. He's not done it. It's 
Very good. Keep him coming. Ten bombs, that's almost enough to try to maintain a break-even point with the bomb beggar. More bombs, you say? Nope. Slowly pit pattern away. Feel the tears as they clap against the ground. If we had Proptosis, this would have been a very different story. This whole run. Also, yeah, we did get we did get flight eventually. It was a long time coming. But at least we have flight now. Not that a room with an irretrievable item is gonna ever spawn again. But you know, it's a nice it's a nice thought. The angels. The Guardian Angels have provided with me that which I'd ultimately wished for. Unfortunately, it was a little too late. But it's the thought that counts. Dude, thanks for the money. Alright, here's another Skatol. Average win rate is something around 33%. So far, he's defying the trend. So far, so good. Another Skatol. He's getting impatient. He's still not done it. Impressive. Keys. I'm a little bit of an overabundance for those. Still no Skatol. That's five of them now. That's quite impressive. Bomb Beggar, it's your turn next. Hope you're excited for this. It's gonna be a very uh, explodey time. Hopefully not for yourself, just for me. I got some nice, safe bombs to hold on to. I don't know if the achievement will pop up instantly or if I'm gonna have to go to the next floor. That's definitely the question of the day. But we have, we have 50 cents to go. Which is why I established earlier the end point that if he pays up with a Skatol, we'll allow it. And it has been done. I don't think that satisfied the counterfeit coin requirement to unlock just yet. But it came a giant leap in that direction. That'll be one achievement less to accomplish. Very good, very good, very good. This man loves paying out with bombs. He loves receiving bombs. He's a very nice guy. Oh, a golden bomb. Good for me. Not of much use to you, hence why he threw it out of his bomb hole. But there we have it. Come on, buddy. We're losing bombs, I'm hoping you can pay it with something tasty. We started with 17, I believe? If he gives us a bomb-related item, we will return it to our initial starting point. He has given us a bomb-related item, and we've basically broken even, but we got a golden bomb, which is certainly worth a lot more. What touched me there? I'm sorry? There's our secret room. That's nice. Just get the science shots out there. We had four luck. It's pretty impressive, no? Only one lump remains. We never did get the shot speed that I was hoping for. Alright. Bolster your angel chances. 78%. If that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. We should probably look for a curse room if we somehow miss this. Oh! Oh yeah, we have a key piece. Duh, that's why our, that's why our um, angel chance is higher for this floor. We have not fulfilled any real beggars. Just a hat. Just, just, just the, the cup trick beggar. Which apparently is morally neutral because if you kill him or fulfill him, you don't get any effect on your devil or angel chance. It's a little strange, but that's the way it is. Oh, and if we miss this angel room, we can always play the self-sacrifice room. We don't exactly have the HP for it, but we might be able to scrounge that up somewhere. Please, what was that? How did you survive my onslaught for so long? Oh, it's because we only have 6.9 damage. That would do it. Bombs? 
bombs. Ah, uh, now we're talking. Now we're not talking. Alright, let's do it. We already exploded a man in the secret room. It's our best chance we're gonna have. We've missed one 80% roll already today. So let's hope that doesn't continue. Try to spawn some enemies, I dare you. Your enemies will fall in the face of science. Ooh, that was just negligent. The enemies did not fall in the face of science because she spawned them above where my science was going. It's a pretty smart move. A teratoma for me? You're too kind. All I want for Christmas is a malignant tumor. And, uh, you were willing to oblige. Alright, the spider has been killed. She's back. These hearts are not going to be doing a whole lot for anyone. We got the angel room. I don't have to try to kill myself. Ooh! This is the, um, swarm protector that I unlocked by killing who now? By killing Hush as the Lost, indeed. So I've got this, I kind of sequence broke for this little baby. Here he is. So here we go. We are going to spawn some homing bombs, because quite frankly they're good. Do some damage. Cause some ruckus. Go ahead. We have infinite, we have infinity bombs. And they're going to be just coasting to their destination. Oh, that was not the best one. There we go. He has done it. At this point. It's not been fully done. It has now been fully done. We have our key pieces. Oh, joyous day. Perfect timing. Now we will go to the cathedral. And it will be, uh, enjoyable. I guess we could look for a cursor. We could get two guppy chunks out of there. Not the most likely thing in the world, but it could actually happen. There's a marked rock as well, so that's nice. Got some scratchings on it. Where was that? Right here. <laughs> that feeling too intelligent for my own eyes. Why am I taking the money? It's not a daily run. You raised some good points there. I'm listening. Wish I could enter that boss trap room. I could have multiple red chests inside. Unknown pill. To this day, huh? At least I don't have Curse of the Maze. Bloodshot Eye. Watch out. Lethal stuff. Just one of them, though. Just one alone is not too bad. Where? Oh, I'm back here. <laughs> A little confuzzled. Oh, hello. You dare spawn directly in the vicinity of my meat cube? You must die. Guppy as usual, I see. I guess there was no guppy, no curse rooms. We already found our super secret, right? Yeah, it was just a poop room. Absolutely. So now we will try to head back. With nothing particularly valuable gleaned from that. Okay. Oh, hello. This is a room that should not have happened. Yep. Okay. Mega Satan, let's go. Are we going in the correct direction? I, I think. Yes. Okay. Not sure. We are going to the chest. Because reasons. So yeah, I guess this is just Mega Satan only. Let's do it. We're gonna get Lazarus's rags, and we're gonna get a little store coupon. Lazarus's rags, not the greatest item. I guess it's a valuable respawn item to have just for regular gameplay when you want to uh, lose someone such as the Keeper in favor of someone who has actual HP. But in this current state of gameplay, that's not really what we're looking for. More bomb beggars, huh? I'll bite. What have you got? No! 
He was busy processing my bomb, but he never fulfills the request. Oh man, still salty about all the mistakes that have been made. No PhD purchase, moronic. Leaving behind Mama Mega, absolutely unforgivable. Unforgivable, yes. It's a real word. I think those are the two cardinal sins that have been committed here. Not the most uh, happy with happenings, but we have guaranteed Mega Satan, so that's something, right? That has not changed. We had to overcome a 20% uh, chance for failure to achieve our final key piece, so you know. That's pretty achievement worthy, is it not? Why, there was a whole 1 in 5 chance we would not have gotten that key piece. Happened once before, could happen again. Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. With the detonation. We never did get another shot speed upgrade. We never did find another black group. Judgment. This combination of things is leaves some stuff to be desired. I still have my half heart interval. Well, it's gone now. Who it is? Two of clubs. All right. I guess it's a free HP. Why not? So no curse room, but there's a challenge room. Okay, now they're going in opposite directions. It's just getting a little confusing. Okay, one down. And the remainings have also been trimmed. Nothing. Ah, here we go. Why not you're at this instead of the chest downstairs? Um, are you seeing this? We got a whole Stephen out of here. And a goat head and a cricket's head. Wow. I, uh, pleasantly surprised there. So we'll take this, we'll take this, we will take this, and suddenly our DPS is not abhorrent. Pretty good, pretty good. And we still have Book of Belial, too. The chest will be easy, even if we have not, you know, given the most favorable of circumstances when it comes to item hunting. You got more Yeras for me? Multiple fools. I guess I'm just trying to farm my sack in hopes that we can get additional Yeras. Just to make the chest a little more fun. Duplicate those chests there, you get additional results. Additional free item pedestals for your consumption. No secret. Any of these could be secret rooms. And that is one. Four batteries? Are you out of your mind? And a key. Why did I explode this instead of coming the natural way? Why not, buddy? With proptosis, we'd be at 28 damage. Don't need to, you know, postulate over your proptosis all the time. It's best to let go of these things. It's like mourning a baby that has not even emerged from the womb. Very sad, but you can't ponder it forever. You just have to move on. You just have to move on. And now I'm just mad at this room, so that works out. Override your emotion with a different one. That's a healthy coping technique, right? Especially if that emotion is uh, anger. Sounds good, buddy. Ooh. Self-sacrifice on the cathedral. That's impressive. I'm gonna kill these Geminis because I can. Did that baby Gemini get itself impaled on the self-sacrifice spikes? That's pretty amazing, if so. Oh man. Double strange fatty, huh? Please allow me to, uh kill you before you move. That did not happen, but now he's gone. There we go. Much more manageable now, with just one of them. Easiest dodges of my life. 
It only made one red poop in that whole time. Well, I'll be. Secret? Secret? This is our last chance to find a mystic poster. You better damn well find that super secret room. It's a fortune teller. Is he a god? We're about to find out. We have four luck, but again, that's irrelevant to these sorts of uh, nefarious devices. Oh, well, a butter, huh? The butter is very nicely rendered thanks to the uh, reskin mod, so that's nice. Listen, I don't have time for these. I need a missing poster, I need a stat. Do you understand? I will abandon my Lazarus Mega Satan run for a missing poster to become the Lost. Which could theoretically become a Lost Mega Satan run. We were missing a lot of HP. It's a little uncanny. Just go directly towards it. There you go. Just hold the left arrow and, you know, stretch, relax, crack your spinal column, get those, uh, you know, get those vertebrae realigned, get your chakras all in the line. Lots of cards. Not the cards we're looking for. I'm looking for a big poster board. That's one step closer. That's a vibrant bulb. Again, not what we're looking for. Yo, if this thing doesn't die, I am so going back in full clearing to gain more money. Do we want... Well, I'm not gonna kill Isaac yet, because we could theoretically get the lost Isaac kill. Which is, you know, actually not a very good unlock, so... On second thought... <laughs> We'll save that for later when we actually are playing as the Lost. We're down to 12 cents. Our reserves are running thin. We got a cork. We got a lipstick. We're still able to pick up hearts. I'm... fearful. A Temperance! He's a genius! Ace of Clubs. Goodness gracious. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. What's the other card here? Two of spades, huh? That's cool. I'm gonna do this a couple of times. So that three brings us down to one red heart of HP, I do believe. Of spades. If we could get back on the half heart interval, I'll be a happy camper. There we go. We're at one and a half now. Are there any more whole hearts? Yes. Two and a half, three and a half. Good, good, good. Okay. We're trying to only manipulate red hearts here because I don't have a good grip on what kind of soul hearts we're looking at. We're at three and a half, right? I... One and a half. One half. Yes, there's our Polaroid. Excellent. Crank on it. Oh, that's what the cork was doing. The cork is actually pretty good for us here. Because we have lots of creep-producing abilities, such as our zit and our, our own innate ability to bleed. Which actually would have been greater had we completed some other challenges prior to this moment. Okay, so it's time to full clear the floor. The time has come. Unknown pill. Infested. Portal. Gone before it could do anything. Very nice, very nice. We did not get a very tasty science shot. Oh, we can even get more money out of pots. This is good. Almost forgot. The pots apparently do not count as real stones and will only drop the money they would have dropped as a pot. I guess that's good knowledge to have. Why did I waste on here? Just don't ask, okay? 
gosh, our range is still abysmal. Mostly by proxy of low shot speed. Anyways, there's that. We still have rooms. Yeah, we'll charge back up real quick. We got another penny out of that room. Um, we're definitely going to explode these for more money. I don't have my rock! I'm a moron. Get your freaking lucky rock back and stop losing actual free money. Get your rock back. Well, get your rock back when you do your patrol back around. That can be a second lap. Oh, that's right, we got our stats back, too. For everyday usage, it's good to preserve our book's existence as a fully charged item, because it gives us vibrant bulb access. Great. One more room. We're still at a half a heart. Good portal elimination. Very nice. Ah, it's a chariot. Some more free... Uh, blood bank credit. Up to 17 cents. I could also use it to extract something from here. I don't think that's going to be worth our time very much at all. Alright, lucky rock. Let's go. I think we'll, we don't need to pop individual stones just yet, but we can definitely do some of this. Can these coins ever be nickels and or lucky pennies? I don't think so. I think they're hard-coded to be pure pennies. Which makes sense from a balance standpoint, but yeah. This is really something. I'm glad I carried that lucky rock all the way down here. I don't think our machine is even going to last for another 60 cents of pay, but it's always worth a shot. Get it even further along the lines here. We certainly don't need these bombs offensively. We've become quite potent thanks to that very clutch challenge room there. Very interesting Euro usage, you might say. I'm not getting too much out of each of these bombs anymore, so I think it'll be time to just move on. I think we can stop here for now. If the machine lasts through this, then all the better. Still have with the occasional extra rock to blast through. You guys hear those cicadas out there? It's September. They're still going. Kind of a disbelief at this. Which card is this? Ah, not quite what I'm looking for, thanks. I'll just confiscate that. That's why we have a chariot. Which I'm going to use right now. They don't give you a very big grace period, as you might uh, have anticipated there. Ace of clubs. I could get rid of all of these unwanted trinkets. I'm gonna put the lucky cork, and by lucky cork I mean lucky rock, out here. And then I'll uh, just take the others and I'll blast them. Why don't I just... Because I want to touch the cork. Right, and I want to preserve the lucky rock for future use. So get clubbed for now. Thank you for not exploding any machines. Now our room is nice and pristine and ready for reuse. We are at full soul hearts, lads. Let's change that. That should have cost us a soul heart. It has. Perfect. Truly the most entertaining of prospects. You got trinkets? You've had a few trinkets. I'm hoping you can, you know, hand some more over. Moreover, I'm hoping that trinket is the missing poster. You understand? Okay then. Guess that's it, Luigi. It has not happened. A uh, titanic waste of time that was. Let's go. Sacrificing some stats for some additional damage. 
Low shot speed against Isaac, not the most fun. Especially when his shots are coming at you at approximately two times the speed of sound. You think your RNG beams have a chance against me? No, sir. In fact, I have wings just like yours. You and I, we're one and the same. I think that's the conceptual idea of this boss, but still. Yeah, we're, we're relatively strong now. If we were the lost, we could have lived. Alright, buddy. Let's get this over with. You've lasted one iteration too long. There he goes. Let us proceed. We don't have a Yira. It's a little bit of a shame. Oh well. Lazarus's rags have appeared in the basement. Congratulations. Another useless item to uh, pile on. Some more useless items to pile on. Dunce cap is certainly not worth it. Yeah, none of these are going to be taken. I'm sorry. Which one is the boss? That's a great question, actually. Might be the uh, leftmost. I'm glad the scythes count as regular enemies that can be incinerated by a science shot. Oh, hello. High Priestess, huh? Not the best room for a High Priestess, I'll tell you that much. This is easier than some cellar rooms. High Priestess versus Daddy? Apparently no contest. Daddy wins. Because he can duck out of this reality whenever he pleases to. I guess he uses predictive motion to uh, slap you directly on the face. That works. Why did I go north when that absolutely could not have been the boss? Great question. Probably because I want to stack up items and be a fun guy. Still, even with 5 luck, we're not getting too many chests. We should probably, you know, use our chariots and slam our fetus into people. The fetus is the chance to drop eternal hearts. I don't know exactly how that chance works. Is it upon intercepting a bullet, or upon damaging an enemy? He gone. He has indeed made himself gone. We have literally no big rooms in this chest. That's impressive. Dinga. You're not Dinga, you're Dingo. Melted. I love his death animation, he just melts into the oblivion. Would have been nicer if he kind of spiraled around and got flushed, but I guess you can see that when you use the actual flush item. Oh, hello. Quadruple monster, what could have been octuple monster if they had chosen to be champions. Nice to see you guys. Still alive! He's, a, he's an absolute golden god. He lived that long. Shield of Tears, my shot speed cannot conceivably go any lower, so yes, actually it could go any lower. That's a surprise. But now we have Shield of Tears with piercing, which is simply fantastic. Another High Priestess. Don't mind if I do. This is a super secret room. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It was not, so this place is totally useless. We'll stop exploring useless rooms and get out of here. There we go. That's more my style. A single stain in a very strategic location. This small constricting branch is the only way towards the boss. Hardware friend. Goodbye, Pins. I'm so sorry to even do this to you. He almost got a last shit. <laughs> a last shot on me. Yeah, I was trying to say shot and hit, and, you know, kind of came out as a portmanteau of the two words. Wholly unintentional. Just a unfortunate coincidence that it happens to be 
a real word. But not a very savory one at that. Yo, thanks for bombing your friend. I should have killed him last. Should have killed the sloth last in hopes for, you know, some cards, maybe a joker. Just to round off this chest floor with something special. Get priestess to some. I think I missed him? Strange. Well, anyways. Your bullets have no power here. Again, if we were the Lost, we'd still be unkillable. Because Shielded Tears and uh, Piercing Tears this is a very strong combination. We've not taken a single hit on this floor. Um, I think, anyways. Do we have batteries? Yes, we do. So let's go ahead and use this book. Blue Baby has literally no capability of violence against us. He doesn't even spawn RNG beams. So, this is it, then. We'll just watch him slowly get disintegrated. I'm sorry, man. My balls are just too big. You actually can't do anything. A couple of your outliers do avoid being intercepted by my tier. No void portal. Maybe after Mega Satan, there could still be a void portal. It certainly lead to an interesting conclusion here. Yeah, if there was a Void Portal, actually, that'd be even more conflicting, so I'm glad that there isn't one there. Yeah, there's literally nothing I want from this room, so... Be gone. Emperor? Is that a super secret room? Who cares? Take your battery charge and go make a Satan yourself. Let's go. Oh, that's right. I think the, uh... The Vibrant Bulb was giving me the additional 0.1 shot speed, but it's gone now, so... It's not giving me tears, so let's just get out of here. It did give range, though. That's something to keep in mind. The range upgrade is not negligible when you have such slow-moving balls of destruction. What a deceptively powerful run for something so slow. Was there a Scythe shot in there? Because that killed that Scythe instantly. Must have just been a weak scythe, huh? Alright, let's go. Dang! That's quite the area of effect you have there, isn't it? Now he's doing this attack, which is kind of hard to dodge because you can't really see what you're aiming or what you're trying to avoid. Alright, Super Sins, here they are. Phase 2 is going to be an actual joke because, again, Piercing plus shielding. By the way, we took a hit, so if we were the lost, we'd be deceased. We took another hit, so... Yeah, lost Mega Satan would have been out of the question anyways. But at least we would have unlocked him at all. It's certainly better than can be said for this run. That was a very unsavory dodge. <laughs> unsavory dodge. But, you know, didn't actually take damage, so it all works out. Alright, angels. You can't actually see their HP because Mega Satan has no HP in the fight. I wish you could at least see HP bars. But that's what Spider Mod is for, I suppose. If you have a Spider Mod, you can keep track of the HP that everyone has. It's a nice little touch. Alright. Finally. You spawned a freaking hollow? You're not allowed to do that, you realize? I've never seen this in my life. You can't just spawn a hollow. Thanks, buddy. Dude, I think Wrath just, like, turned on you. You gonna do anything about that? I think that was Mutiny right there. And you're just gonna let that happen? You're just gonna let that slide? I wish I could actually look upwards and see what's happening up there. All I know is that it's kind of embarrassing for him. Oh, he actually managed to move out of the ground zero here. I can still see the very bottom of his chinny chin chin. And, uh. Well, with that, I can track him just enough to get something useful out of it. And there he goes. Portal. 
No portal. Okay. What a useless run. Store credit has appeared in the basement. We got the long baby for the Mega Satan kill. So we have more stuff to do as Lazarus. That certainly has not changed. But we at least got this out of the way. Mega Satan kills are kind of coming together. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, perhaps hit a like down there. I will see you next time with... Maybe Blue Baby Runs, which we have not done, surprisingly enough. And we will keep on this ever-present search for the missing poster. Until then.